guys, what's going on? What's going on? Mike, go play. Mike opens packs, and today, today, today we got a good one. Today we got a really, really good one. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it tastes great. Mm. So addicting. All right, running. Right You're not here to see me eat cereal. You're here today for the brand new Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Pokemon collaboration. It's actually not just a Cinnamon Toast Crunch collaboration. It's actually General Mills. I know that some Trick cereals getting these cards. I know a couple of the cereals are getting these cards. But let's go ahead and take a look at our product. This is for the 25th anniversary. Uh, Pokemon decided to go ahead and release Pokemon cards inside of cereal. So, just like the McDonald's, it's an exclusive, and it's an exclusive to this year only. Guys, I'm sorry if I sound a little weird. I am fresh off of no surgery. I know how funny that sounds. Anyways, we have uh, collect 14 cards on the back, and it's got a little checklist for the cards here. Um, Pikachu, Galarian, Ponyta, Hatena, Wulu, Morpico, and Gossiflower. I believe those are the holographics, and that's why they are checked in white. Oh, yeah, it says that. Foil card right here. Uh, foil card, and then the standard cards. But the only card that has the 25th anniversary stamp is the Pikachu, which is a very weird decision. Now, the other cards, uh, the holographics, are exclusive to the General Mills, and we will get to that. They have like a special General Mills holographic pattern. Um, the rest of the cards actually aren't exclusive to General Mills. The standard cards, I believe, are cards that are from the set. So like Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze, I think they just plucked cards from those sets and put them inside the cereal here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first one. Also, we will, are the cards in the cereal? No, they're not, thank goodness. All right, they're just in the box, nice and loose here. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other special things before we jump into the cards. We got our Yamper word search, our Yamper and our Morpico word search. We have the three evolution match. We also have a reveal the answer and a 25th anniversary logo, a train on logo. And at the very top, we have the uh, Pokemon Sudoku. And yeah, you just gotta match it. Just a, a, a fun little game to play while you're eating your cereal. I kind of do want to eat the rest of my cereal. But let's go ahead and get the rest of these cards out real quick so we don't have to just keep opening them up over and over. Now I have like Cinnamon Toast Crunch for days. Like the most Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What am I gonna do with all this Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I have no idea. Alrighty, there we go, there we go. We have all the cards out. We only have four packs. Guys, again, if you do come across your uh, Pokemon General Mill cereal, please don't buy out your grocery store. Save some for others. I only got four, and some of you might think, hey, four is greedy. Well, actually, two of these are going to my brother, right? And the other one is, I don't know, okay? Here we go, we got the, the pack arts here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pack arts. As you see, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pack arts here. Nice white pack art. It's got some pattern in the background. It's kind of hard to see on camera. It's got like the 25th anniversary pack round, uh, background. And then you have Pikachu, um, Wulu, Morpeko, and Yamper. And those are the holographics, I believe. Let's go ahead and get some scissors and open this guy up. The pack art's really, really nice. Uh, it looks like this is a completely different material than the McDonald's pack art. The McDonald's pack art was like this weird plastic and this one's a very very nice foil. This one's more of a traditional uh, Pokemon pack. Let's see if I can open it without damaging it. That would be great. Not really. We'll have another shot at it here in a second. Actually we'll have four more shots at it here in a second. Oh, completely destroyed that. All right, for our first one, I want to say, I don't know the card trick. Let's just go one to the back. That seems cool. All right, so far so good. We have a Galarian Farfetch, and as you can see, if you take a look at the set symbol here, that set symbol is Rebel Clash or Vivid Voltage? Uh, I'm not sure. But either way, this is not exclusive to the cereal, so they plucked this out of the set, okay? Um, I'm not really a big fan of that. 
but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. We have a Galarian Zigzagoon, and it looks like that one again was plucked from its set. And then on the end, we have a holographic Pikachu with the 25th anniversary stamp. This is what everyone's after. Now, as you can see, the holographic pattern is exclusive to General Mills. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't mind pulling another three of those, okay? I really wouldn't. Now, for video purposes, that wouldn't be too exciting, but at the same time, I kind of just really want the Pikachu. If we do get any of the holograph other holographics, that'd be great, but I think I'm just a fan of the Pikachus. Let's see here. I mean, the Pikachus are just, they're just so special. They have the 25th anniversary logo on them. The other ones don't, and I'm, I'm really disappointed by that. I don't get why you would make exclusive cards that wouldn't have the 25th anniversary logo on them. That just doesn't make sense to me. You're printing them with a special holographic anyways, and as you saw there, I don't even have to shuffle it. We got another Pikachu. So maybe, Maybe you're guaranteed a Pikachu in each one, and then another one could be the holographic. And there we go, we have a Hatena holographic with the General Mills special holographic pattern. You can see it's got like this serial foil pattern back there. And then we have a Cufant Cuffant on the end from uh, whatever set it was plugged from. So we ha so far have two Pikachus and a Hatena holographic. Okay, so if Pikachu is guaranteed in everyone, then the holographics actually are a lot harder to get than you can imagine. Um, a lot harder to get because you could have just a random standard cards like you saw in the first pack there Let's go ahead and open this as careful as possible again second pack. We opened pretty clean Let's See what we got uh, we know the Pikachu is on the front boom. We have another Pikachu Beautiful 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 gorgeous promo. Do we have a holographic? Yes, we do We got probably the second favorite my favorite holographic and that is the Galarian Ponyta, again with the General Mills custom pattern. It does have a promo stamp on the bottom left here, and that is because of the hollow foil pattern. Quickly, edit mode, edit mode. As I'm cleaning up here, I did notice this. It says on the front, three free cards inside, including a foil Pikachu, right? Which we found out. Celebrate 25 years of Pokemon, collect them all. Chance to get an exclusive Galarian Ponyta card. So Galarian Ponyta was exclusive. This art and foil card was exclusive to the General Mills, so we did pull the rare one. I really wish it had the 25th anniversary stamp on it. All right, guys, back to the video. And then we have another Galarian Farfetch, our last pack of the video. And guys, today is Wednesday. We are like two days away from Shining Fates release. I'm hoping that my pre-orders stay true and none of my pre-orders get canceled. Trying to get hidden uh, Shining Fates product. I really want to get a channel, uh, a video going on the channel as soon as possible. Guys, I'm so excited for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon and I'm so excited for just this Shining Fates release. Also, if you guys are unaware, uh, Pokemon and Levi's, like the jeans company, they did a collaboration for the 25th anniversary and uh, I was able to get one of those products. I will make a video as soon as I get that in. Our Pikachu, and then we'll go for our last card right here is the Yamper plucked from whatever set that was. And do we get a holographic on the last pack? We do not. Snom. So I was two for uh, four on holographics. We have four Pikachu holographics right here with the custom promo, uh, with the custom st stamp right there, the 25th anniversary stamp and the foil pattern. And then, of course, we have the two General Mills holographics, Ponyta and Hatana. Guys, I might go play. Mike opens packs. Thank you for bearing with me in this video. I know it was a rough one. And I will see you guys later this week. Shining Fates is upon us. Let's go.